Hello again. So we've done a face wash, a moisturiser, a base moisturiser, two different types of foundation. They're all in the other videos. And now, because this one, I just wanted for an everyday sort of look um, because I've gone a bit patchy and uh, I think weather-wise, hormonals, um, diet, all of that is really um, showing up on me face. Age, of course. So I've got now, again, it's Avon. I've been doing mostly Avon with a few other bits. But this one is um, Metallic Rain. And the colour is Savage Bronze. Savage. So it's got a nice little applicator. I have tried this one. So um, I'm going to use my mirror because I can't see properly in that. Um, yeah, that's a really nice applicator. And I'm going to pat it on after I've applied some because if I was going out clubbing... I'd leave it on thicker, but seeing as it's just for everyday wear, um, I just want a, a subtler look. So, there's that. Let's get the glasses. Yeah, I think that's okay. When I've finished all of this and I'll go and look in the bathroom mirror, if you don't see another video, you'll know it's all gone wrong. But um, <laughs> I really like the uh, texture of this and the little little sponge on the end is really nice. The colour's lovely. I think it's... Um, I'm a bit dark on the eyelids as well, all around my eyes. Um, I think that's diet and hormones. So this really does brighten up the that area. And... If I just take it over that whole area, it actually is a sort of a guideline for me. So, I'll put a little bit more on there. Yeah, that's very nice. I think as you get a bit older as well, I mean, wear what makeup you like, but anything a little bit metallic -y with a twinkle, it brightens everything up. So, um, that's a good choice for the over 50s. It's for anyone really, but I think that, um, although you can see I've got it on, it's nice and natural. Well, as far as I can see in this video, it is. So that's that done. What I'm gonna do now is mascara. I don't wanna put anything else on. I'm not gonna put mascara on my bottom lashes. I think for two reasons. One, it causes a shadow under my eyes. And two, as you you know, you get this puffiness around here, as you smile, it makes them touch and sometimes it tends to come off more. Um, so I'm gonna use Lisa Armstrong's A Miraculous Volume. This is, I used Mark the other day to try. Um, and that is the big phenomenal volume mascara. And I did put some one with and one out pictures, um, very nice. I really like that. But I'll put it on my bottom lashes and it did come off a bit underneath. But as I say, that's probably because um, of the the puffiness around my eyes. Also, when you put it just on the top, I think it um, opens your eye up more. So this one is the Miraculous Volume. Let's see how we go with this. I might have to use my mirror. The brush looks nice. Nice bushy brush. So let's go. Oh, that's nice. That's going on nice. No clumping. And I'm going to poke my eye out. Oh, I really like that. Um, I find if I wait for that to dry and put another coat on, it goes a bit clumpy. So I like to build it up while it's still wet you know and as i say again it's just a preference it's that you know how you wear your makeup you know what's best the best way to apply it for you um you might have some basic rules in makeup but generally it's what suits yourself and again 
when you look in the mirror and you see that and you say, oh, I like it, that's, that's it, done. Doesn't matter what anyone else thinks and you can wash it off at the end of the day. Um, Bailey Syrian says that I watch her videos and she says it's just makeup, you can wash it off. So um, she inspired that. And it's true, isn't it? We can wash it off at the end of the day. There's that little bit more there. I must say the uh, this is really nice for maybe every day. And that Mark gel one, I think would be better for an evening because it's um, a lot more. I only put one coat on it when I did it, but I could see that if I put another one on it, it would really build up. Um, so let's try on this eye without poking my eye out. That always happens, doesn't it? They sort them smudges out after. Um, another thing I try and do is twist that brush. Can you see, like, twist it like that? That really helps to separate the eyelashes uh, and also contributes to getting it all over your face at the same time. Yeah, so, so far, all the new makeup I'm really pleased with. Um, it's a nice little treat, why not? Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. And yeah. you might want to use some curlers. Um, again, I'm too dangerous to use those things. I'm going to do my lips next and we have Lisa Armstrong again, colour within the lines, lip liner and this colour is, I believe it's the same as the, um, let's have a look, terrible on him. No, I can't see it, sorry. <laughs> the lipstick is called Jojo and I will uh, leave in the um, information i'll leave the name of this one but it's a similar color to the lipstick so again the first time using it let's get me a little mirror i've got like a pigment missing here so it often makes me look a little bit like mary out of hocus pocus um which is good i'd love to be mary out of hocus pocus <laughs> i'll just go and get me broomstick so i'm gonna see there is just missing a pigment sometimes when i cover it it looks a bit odd but this this is quite a subtle color so it should be all right so i'm just gonna go right on the line not in or out just right on it so let's get that bit there and take that out there And then the top. Again, my lips are like the pigment in them is missing in places. So uh, lipstick's uh, going to be my friend, isn't it? Let's get that bow. I really like this colour. And as I'm getting older, I'm getting them, see them lines. So... The lipstick I'm using, I've actually tried, is really good. It's uh, moisturising, but it's matte, so it's not going to travel up to my nose holes. And I think a bit of lip liner will prevent that as well. There's nothing worse, is there? Thinking you look really good and all your lipsticks run up. <laughs> uh, so, let's... Oh, I've got a bit of... Do that. And I did um, learn a, tr a little trick a few years ago. If you're putting lipstick on and your mouth looks a bit down like that, it's a good idea. Let me just put this on. I'm not going to use a brush. I've never really used a brush for lipstick, but a lot of people do. I'm just going to use... 
yeah i've got um a little bit of gloss yeah the tip was to go darker on the inside and apparently it gives an impression to lift your lips i've got a little bit of this um what is this called healthy mix sorbet blush raspberry tinted drop and i i'm just gonna see if it will make the i don't want to put too much on make the middle bit look a bit darker maybe i should have put that on first i don't want to look like i've got cold sores all over my lips uh, let's have a look no that's not the right color but apparently it does usually work i've got another one here let's try this this is um model's own color lipstick twist up the lipstick yeah okay what color is it let's have a look it hasn't got color on it but i'm gonna try this just to give it I don't want to look like a geisha girl. Okay. And I think that's it. Uh, blusher wise, today is not the day. I can't actually find my blusher, but again, it's not suiting me lately anyway. I'll put a little bit of pink on just to brighten me up. And another little tip is on the orbital bone, a little bit of pink, um, just to brighten your complexion um, and lift your eyes up. And that really works, gives you a nice wide awake look. Or it makes you look like you've been punched in the face, one or the other, depending on how you put it on. Um, that's my finished look. I'm thinking I look a little bit sweaty because I am. Um, so what I do need then is some eyebrows and some fixing powder. Um, so in my next order from Avon, that's what I'm going to order. But I hope this video has um, helped you pass a, a couple of minutes. Uh, and been entertaining if nothing else but let me know what you think um that was 13 minutes long that one god i bet you've lost the will to live okay guys have a lovely day and um we'll see you around bye